Hey, what's up, people? Hope all is well. Hope you had a great Shabbos, and let's kick off and let's start off to a great beginning of the week here. So, lesson thirty-five is going to talk about joy. We know, we know that Rav Nachman in Breslov, we talk about joy. How powerful Rav Nachman says joy has such power to overcome a lot of different things. So, let's get right into lesson thirty-five. Use every ploy you can think to bring yourself to joy. Right. Depression does tremendous damage. So it's saying here, we have to be joyful, always. Even when something is like, psh, oh, what's going on in my life? No, it's time to pump it up and just be joyful. I'm always big on telling people, a lot of people I speak to and try to mentor is saying, let's put on some breasts of music, something, some dance, Jewish dance music, something that's poppy. Um, you know, I recommend Jewish music because it's more holy, but Whatever music is going to get you popping and besimcha and joy dissipates depression. In, in Brussels, we talk about clapping. You know, I always talk about this clapping. It brings tremendous power in the brain to bring uh, good thoughts. So let's get, let's get right, right into it, this lesson, further into it. It says, make every effort to rid yourself of this completely, of the depression. One way is to search within yourself until you find good points. We talked about this many of times, right? So it's another uh, one way is to search and look at, oh, you know what? I was good over Shabbos. I was happy over Shabbos. Let me take that energy and put it into my Sunday, into my Mondays, into my Tuesday. You know, wow, I got compliments or something. Let me take that good energy and, and push it and push it. Just take any good points that you think of yourself and boom, transform it. Transform it into your week. Another thing, remember the words of the morning blessings. And it says, you did not make me heathen. But for many people... So it says, continue, it says, but for many people, the best way to come to joy is through jokes and laughter. And Rav Nachman, it's, it's amazing. This comes from the Kute Maran. It says this, right? It's the last part. It says, but for many people, the best way to come to joy is through jokes and laughter. And there's a famous story of Rav Nachman, and a lot of people know this, is that he said that he was on the, when he was on the way to Eretz Yisrael, I think he was passing through... Um, was it Egypt or I forgot exactly the country. Someone can, uh, you know, feel free to message me to correct me. But I think it's Egypt. There's one of those. Con- oh, Turkey. That's what it was. He was passing through Turkey and he was laughing with all the guards, making jokes and being friendly. And his, his story is well known. And he said the only the only way he was able to get to Eretz Yisrael through his journey. It took him a long time. He was joking with guards and people at the border and people at this crossing, all this, etc. His joy has such power. Because it's not easy to travel, the journeys, they didn't have planes and cars and all this kind of stuff back in the day. So the journey was long. And when you have such a long journey, it de- definitely takes effect on your depression. And Rav Nachman knows it best is to joke around. It's okay to joke around. I think we should be, you know, people got to loosen up a little bit. It's important to take a joke and laugh at it. Don't take it so personally. Sometimes people are just trying to lighten up the mood. So I bless you guys all that we should have a joyful laughter, joking around week in a good way. And so we can serve Hashem with joy and we should be blessed that we should have Rav Nachman's energy within us to help us become more joyful. Have a great rest of your week, guys.